Today we're gonna be working on a Moment in Time's branding. Let's just go into Express, click your Get Started button, grab the file, it's gonna convert it for us. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go in and then create a new library. I'm gonna just name this AMIT. What I'm gonna do here is just click uh, the plus and then I'm going to do graphic instead of uh, type. Okay. Just because I want this to be like a logo and not like a type style. But what I can also do is obviously click that and then also do a character style for later nice. on. So whenever we wanna do like header copy or title copy, we can do that. For the brand colors for this brand, I'm just gonna say like white and black. We could do like a warm gray. <laughs> okay, so now you're setting up those colors. You've added them to your library. Yep, and I'm gonna grab this logo now as well. And I'm gonna add it to the library as well. I'm bringing up the brands and libraries. I'm gonna go to aim it the libraries, and I'm gonna bring in the logo. And it was right in there. You didn't even have to like wait for it. Just boop, boop. Let's scale it down. It says, do not put it on a background that's busy. So what we're gonna do is gonna go in there and we're gonna grab something from like medium, just do like black texture. Perfect. Right. 10 out of 10 chalkboard style. Okay, so now you've added that background as the example of a Don't do that. background that lowers the readability. And yep. I would say, yeah, I cannot I read that. I <laughs> can't read that. So I like that there's those photo options right in there for you. You didn't have to go hunt for it on no. another random website. Exactly. So it's kind of nice. All right, we're going to go back into the other thing. Do not add a stroke to this logo or modify its appearance. Um, this is going to be an easy one to just do directly in here. So just uh, Shift X. Um, we'll just add that into the logo. Yeah, that's fine. Outline it, Command Shift O, and then. Yes. There we go. There we go. We'll grab Bring that. It in. Libraries, boom, oh, text, no. Nope. I feel like this is the most fun slide. It is the most fun slide. Because you're just like, don't do this, and yeah. I, you're trying to get into the head yeah. of the client who doesn't know better. Correct. Like I said earlier, we're just gonna probably just do three colors. It'd be like that warm gray, mm -hmm. and then just black and white. I'm just gonna clean it up really quickly. Okay, this is looking nice. Color, go to the AMIT, and then grab this, and then and it's already in there, loaded up from Illustrator. Exactly. You're not typing in random hex codes or eyedropper guessing. So typeface name, so it's just really simple. Go in there, you've already got the type set up. Select just go it. in there and select it, and then just quickly swap it out, and then it'll be set. Ooh, yes. General Sands, boom. Show us the full view. So, so we, can... we can do the full view. Your masterpiece. It's very, very simple, very clean. But what I want to do is start incorporating this into like making some assets for a client. This is cool. So now we're in Adobe Photoshop beta. So this is the object selection tool. It's right here underneath your lasso. If you're doing a mono bar like I do, one of the things that I'm gonna do here though is go to select and then modify. And then I'm going to expand and I'm going to add like 20 pixels. I'm gonna do the whole thing again. I'm gonna just duplicate it, Command J and then do the exact same process, but this time sped up. So okay. I'm just going to click generate a fill and then, okay, cool. And then I'm going to click remove. Uh, you can also just leave it sometimes and not do it, but no. I find it rem saying remove means that it's probably going to pull the background. It'll give you three different options. You can choose from here. I think the third option is probably the strongest. Click that and then command E to merge them. You just go in like little sections here. Yeah, just anywhere I can kind of see that silhouette. Yeah. I'm just gonna click generate a fill again and then see if it can figure it out. Oh, that. wow. I'm gonna separate him as a foreground and then I've got the background and then we can bring it into Express and we can animate it. I'll use this as link layers, libraries, and then I'm gonna grab this layer. With that layer selected, you added it as a graphic. And so what I'm gonna do here is go directly into my libraries again. I'm gonna grab the background um, image. Oh, there we go. There we go. So. so sick, separating that, it looks great. Now we can go in and directly start to like mess with the animation of it. For this, I think honestly, just like a little drift. That looks amazing and I feel like so easy to do in Adobe Express. Thank you everyone. <laughs> Thank you, bye. -bye. bye, -bye.